Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'll be building some staging for my HO scale switching layout over here. And what's cool about it is that it folds down so it saves some space. Let's get started. Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna be creating the shelving uh, that's gonna be the staging for both the right and left side of my HO scale switching layout. Now this side's about three feet long, this side's about 20 inches long. The side on the left over here is actually going to be modeled as the interior of one of the industries. So that's gonna be handled just a little bit differently than this one. This one's just gonna be open, it's gonna be where I'm gonna stage my trains um, so they can go onto the layout and back off again. Now with staging, I can't have these uh, shelves out, jutting out like this all the time. I'm just not going to have enough room in my basement to get around. So I was toying with the idea of being able to detach these, place them underneath, but then I thought, well, I don't really like the hassle of having to reattach and detach them all the time whenever I want to use or put away my layout. So, and I can't have them sticking out all the time either. So I came across these folding brackets online, which I thought were really cool because they'll fold down 90 degrees and so I can fold the shelf out of the way. I can save a whole bunch of space this way. I won't save too much space this way. Um, it will be kind of in the way. But I thought the fact that I don't have to detach it every time and I can still fold it down, I figured that was a great compromise. So that's what I went with. And it's going to be made from 1x2s and some quarter inch plywood. And then on this side, for the interior, I wanted to be able to remove the top of this, take it over to my workbench, and work on modeling the interior of the structure away from the layout. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I accomplished that. The first order of business was to measure and cut some 1x2s for the frame of the main staging shelf. Once that was done, it was a simple matter of clamping and gluing the pieces into place. I tacked everything together with some 1 quarter inch brad nails so I could keep the build process moving quickly since they'll hold everything together while the glue sets and it frees up the clamps for the next piece. Next, I took a quarter inch piece of plywood and ripped an eight inch strip over on the table saw. Then I used the frame itself as a measuring guide to get the right length, then took it back over to the table saw and cut it using a crosscut sled. Now all I had to do was clamp the shelf to the frame, drill and countersink some holes, and screw it all together. I used 5 8 inch wood screws for this. Once everything was put together, I checked to make sure everything came out level. To help prevent future warping, I took the shelf outside and sprayed on several coats of polyurethane. Once dry, I brought it back in and applied a thick coat of latex paint to the top. Eventually, I'll put some hardboard sides on the shelf to match the fascia, but I'll wait until after I lay the track to do that. Next up was to mark where the track would meet the staging shelf. That way I could position the shelf so that there was ample room on either side of the track. Since the sides of the layout are made from half-inch plywood, and I wanted to use one-inch wood screws to secure the brackets, I glued a strip of wood to the back of the plywood so that I had enough material to anchor into. Then I clamped the shelf to the side of the layout to prepare for the bracket installation, making sure it was level. The folding brackets I'm using are rated for 300 pounds per pair, so I think they'll be pretty strong enough. Next, I clamped the brackets to the shelf and to the side of the layout, making sure everything remained square. Then it was a simple matter of pre-drilling, then driving in the screws to hold everything together. When it came to driving in the one inch screws to attach the brackets to the layout, my impact driver was way too bulky to get in close, so I had to bring out a screwdriver. And a fun fact, if you have a Stanley screwdriver like this one, you can attach a socket wrench to it and drive it in nice and tight. After everything was attached, I removed the clamps and tested it out, making sure everything still remained level. For the smaller shelf's frame, I did the same things with measuring, cutting, and gluing it all together. The shelf portion will be different, however, since I want to be able to remove it. I plan on modeling the interior of an industry on this shelf, and I want to be able to work on it away from the layout over on my workbench. To accomplish this, I used a bunch of neodymium magnets and two pieces of plywood for the top of the shelf. The quarter inch plywood is pretty thin, but I still needed to bore out some holes in it so that the magnets have a stronger pull. Once the holes were drilled, I used some 5 minute epoxy to seal the magnets in place. Like with the other shelf, to help against possible warping in the future, I applied several coats of polyurethane and painted a thick coat of latex paint onto the removable portion of the shelf that will soon become the interior structure, and I made sure to do this on both sides. 
Finally, it was time to mount the shelf to the layout. This time around, I went and purchased a bit extension so I didn't have to mess around with ratcheting the screws into place. As useful as those Stanley screwdrivers can be, it is a bit of a pain to do it that way. After mounting everything, I again tested for level. All right, there we go. We got some staging done for the switching layout. Pretty happy with the design. It's gonna save me a lot of space down here, uh, not a lot of room. So to be able to tuck these down and out of the way, that's gonna make a big difference being able to move around down here. Uh, the other thing I like about this part is the fact that the top comes off and I can work on this separately. This is gonna be the interior of one of the industries and I wanna model that separately with its own lighting and, and everything there. So that'll be cool to be able to take that off so it's not hanging down off the side, banging into the walls or something like that. I can store it away underneath on, on a shelf. Maybe I'll create a shelf for it or up and out of the way somewhere else. So that'll be pretty cool. And then when I'm ready to use it, just flip this up, pop it on and the magnets help align it perfectly. So there we go, got some staging done. Now all I have to do is put on the track, get some wiring, and get some trains running. So that'll be upcoming next. And if you like this video, let me know by hitting that like button. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.